Hello everyone. First, I'd like to thank the organizers for this workshop opportunity despite the difficult sanitary conditions. Today, I'll present Dipsigal, which is an ongoing work uh, to rethink the Bayesian spectral energy distribution fitting of galaxies uh, and to improve the currently existing Seagal software. It's a joint work with Pierre Pudlot and Denis Burgarella from Ex Marte University, my two uh, PhD advisors. So first, I, I introduce the uh, problematic. So we are seeing now the development of several large uh, extragalactic surveys, which will bring a lot of new data about a lot of new galaxies, or a lot of galaxies. Uh, so here, for example, the uh, Moonrise Extragalactic Survey, which will give us very high resolution uh, spectra on millions of galaxies. Uh, so here on the figure, you have two simulated galaxies at three different redshifts. And we see the moon's wavelength, wavelength range uh, on which we can see for Z from uh, one to about uh, three, uh, every emission line from O2 to uh, H beta. Uh, the goal of the current work is to allow SIGAL uh, to handle uh, this new data in an efficient uh, manner and to, combining, and to combine it with the already existing uh, photometric surveys uh, of galaxies. So SIGAL is uh, modeling and uh, fitting. Uh, it adopts a very modular uh, design where you have several components of the galaxy emission. So the, the, the star formation history and the stellar population, the dust attenuation and emission, and the nebular emission are all modeled separately and then combined. And for each of those components, uh, the user can choose uh, his, the, the model he wants. Uh, several are, are already implemented and uh, users can implement uh, their own and just plug it in uh, the software. So in order to fit and observe the CD, for every module you uh, select a range of possible parameters, then Seagull uh, creates the parameter grid, computes the, current, the corresponding SEDs uh, on the grid and the, their likelihood, and then returns the weighted parameter distribution as a de grid deterministic approximation of the Bayesian important sampling estimator. Unfortunately, as the models get more and more complicated and we uh, increase the number of parameters, the grid sampling becomes incredibly inefficient with uh, the size of the grid exploding and the approximation error uh, increasing a lot. So you have to switch from uh, grid sampling to a random sampling uh, methodology. Uh, unfortunately, it might be quite hard to uh, simulate directly in the posterior and if the posterior distribution is small uh, compared to the prior distribution, uh, most of the computation, most of the computations are wasted uh, outside of the target. So the first thing we need to do uh, in order to sample uh, efficiently, uh, randomly, is to accelerate the simulation procedure because SIGAL is extremely efficient at simulating on a grid, but not so much uh, with random inputs. Uh, fortunately, uh, Asling uh, proposed the method to approximate spectra using uh, PCA and neural networks. So the idea is simply 
to use uh, principal component uh, decomposition on the training set and then to learn to predict the principal component coefficient uh, given the parameter inputs of the physical model. You can do that very efficiently with neural networks and uh, it's both very fast and uh, very uh, effective. The error is, is very, very small. Uh, here I plotted uh, one example where we see the approximation incredibly close to the true spectrum. Uh, for Deep Seagal, we chose to apply this methodology, but in order to keep the modularity of the original uh, software, we only approximate the parts of the code which are very expensive in terms of computation. Uh, this allows us to retain the modularity for every user who wants to uh, plug in his own uh, module uh, while uh, still accelerating significantly the computation speed. So now that we have an efficient way to sample uh, LCDs from the model parameters, we need a Monte Carlo scheme. So we propose to use a modified version of the adaptive multiple importance sampling algorithm. Uh, the idea is to start from a proposal, usually the prior distribution, sample from this uh, proposal, compute the importance weight as in important sampling by taking the ratio of the target and the proposal distribution. And as long as the effective sample size is not sufficient, we adapt the proposal distribution to the target distribution by introducing a sequence of tempered targets, which are easier to sample from than the true target but closer to the true target than the current distribution. So the proposal gets closer and closer at its iteration to the uh, true target. And at, the, and at the end, we sample from this uh, close proposal, uh, stop and recycle every previous uh, sample we we drawn. Uh, The effective sample size is an estimation of the number of, draw you, of draws you'd have to do in the true target in order to have an estimator with, with the same variance as your important sampling estimator. So the higher it is, the better your estimation is. Here we, here we have an example of Symmetric SED fitted with our, with our version of the, the algorithm. So we see that the posterior distributions can be quite both narrow, very correlated, uh, multimodal, uh, and to have the true simulating the true simulating uh, value here in red, uh, which is not located at the maximum likelihood which is here, for example. Uh, so we do recover it in the uh, mode of the posterior distribution, uh, despite uh, it being far from the max likelihood. And as we see, the effective sample size uh, from our modified adaptive multiple important sampling algorithm is about 50 times higher for the same uh, computational cost than the naive uh, important sampling estimator. So one of the main goals of Seagal is to be able to handle uh, different types of data, uh, both spectroscopic and photometric. 
and to be able to not have every time the same bands observed for every galaxy. Uh, and in order to do that, we need to uh, be able to customize the likelihood model. Uh, so that's one of the main gains we have in not using directly a neural network, for example, to estimate uh, the parameters from the observed SED, uh, keeping the full statistical model allow us to adapt the likelihood to uh, different uh, cases where you could have instrument dependent uh, noise correlations, for example, or systematic discrepancies between the model and data or between spectroscopy and photometry. Uh, it's also very useful to be able to uh, downweight the overly sampled uh, parts, parts of the SED. Uh, and finally, it's very easy to change the covariance structure of the SED and therefore to incorporate uh, more information uh, depending on what uh, parts of the SEDs have been sampled by which survey, etc. So to conclude, I'll summarize uh, my talk. Uh, we developed a state-of-the-art Monte Carlo sampling method in the tempered uh, adaptive multiple important sampling uh, scheme, which requires magnitudes fewer likelihood evaluations than a naive uh, important sampling and is very robust to a bad prior uh, distribution as a proposal. Uh, and in turn, every uh, likelihood evaluation can be made magnitudes faster by using a uh, deep emulator. Uh, this approach has several uh, pros. Uh, we, of course, greatly improve the quality of SIGEL estimate and improve its flexibility by allowing it to uh, uh, handle spectroscopic and photometric data. It's a very natural way to handle missing data and uh, heterogeneous uh, data, so uh, not the same bands, not the same uh, wavelengths range, etc. It keeps the modularity and flexibility uh, of the prototyping of the current uh, single version. And finally, it's a very heavily parallel uh, process and at the limit of uh, replacing the whole SED uh, modeling by a neural network. Uh, this procedure can be made extremely fast and we are currently working uh, to see, uh, to measure exactly how fast we can go with this method. I've put a few references uh, with uh, notably the figures that I used. Uh, I hope the Deep Seagull current version will be available soon, as well as a paper about uh, tempered adaptive multiple sampling. And thank you for your attention.